Alright, so we got Honeycomb on the Incredible. This is the second video I've done, and this time it actually looks looks pretty nice. Um, thanks to Riot Mac on Twitter, uh, he showed me, he told me about the, uh, the density hack. If you bring down the, the density a little bit, um, you can actually see the real Honeycomb UI, which is pretty nice. Here we have the, the lock screen, which is pretty cool. You slide this thing outside the circle and see the little ripples. Looks pretty nice. Let's go ahead and unlock that. Oh, and that was the new, the new clock, uh, new clock font, which I was gonna rip out for um, my gingerbread ROM. But actually, if you, you can't really tell now, but uh, on the pictures I'll put up in a little bit, some of the the lines are darker than the others, and that's actually two fonts put together. Um, overlaid on top of each other, which is kind of kind of cool looking, but kind of a pain in the ass because can't rip that out. Um, let's go ahead and unlock. Here's the the home screen. Slides around, and I think it slides around in almost a uh, like a circular view, but I don't can't quite tell with uh, how slow it is. Here's the new famous honeycomb analog clock. Um, and if you look down here, you can see the buttons. Those buttons are actually the new virtual buttons. These buttons over here don't actually do anything. Oh, okay, well they actually do something, but they're not supposed to. Um, this is the new Honeycomb keyboard. Looks very nice. Um, I may look into pulling that out, actually. Um, oh, that's kind of cool. It, you can't really tell, but down here, by where the clock is, the there's a little keyboard icon that just popped up. Um, oh, there's a tab button. Nice tab button up here on the keyboard. Um, let's back out. And I think that's dedicated. That's it. Yeah, that's a de that's a dedicated Google Google search bar, which is kind of nice. Oops. Um, and here is the app drawer. And if you look right here, this little downloaded tab, which I think is a pretty cool addition. All right, let's open up messaging. Show you some of the new Honeycomb maps. Uh, it looks looks about the same, actually. What's this? Oh, that's cool. It's a little button up here. It looks like the action button is the compose, search, and settings pop down menu. Um, back out. Let's see. The calculator is redesigned. It has all the um, scientific buttons on there, which is I've always missed that. I wish they had that default on the regular calculator. Um, let's see what the clock is. Looks about the same. Camera, since the resolution is all messed up, you can't really tell, but you can see the new new UI. It looks like it would look pretty cool if uh, if it was actually working correctly. Contacts. I obviously don't have any contacts in here, but um, let's see email. Email looks about the same. Oh no, that's kind of cool. Uh, search. Oh, there's that again. Uh, honeycomb keyboard. Um, let's go to a different. Oh, hit the X button up there. Close that out. Um, home on the back button right there. Let's add some more widgets. So we, some more widgets. See what that looks like. Okay, so again, this is kind of messed up with the the resolution, but there's the five screens. That's kind of cool. You can see the whole five screen layout. Um, new widgets. There's the bookmarks widget. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, oh yeah, and you can drag it to different screens. Uh, let's drag it up here into the far left screen. Did it work? I don't actually know if it worked or not. Oh, um, <laughs> that's weird. Oh, this is the new browser. That looks cool. New tabs, multiple tabs. That looks. That's very cool. Oh, there you go. All right. Well, I think it's still a little off because of the the resolution. All right. Let's see some more widgets. See what those look like. Um,
is an email widget. Yeah, you can't really see the see how that all looks. Alright, let's check the settings. I noticed this earlier. The settings looks pretty cool. Alright, this looks really cool. I like the, the dual screen layout of it. Um, see under about phone, you can see this is clearly honeycomb. Will it zoom in? Focus? Let's see if I can get this to focus. Uh, no. Alright, well, um, it's honeycomb SDK model. Obviously nothing really works, but I just wanted to show the new honeycomb layout. It looks, looks very cool. I'm definitely uh, excited for what's in the future of it. Alright, well that's it. Um, you can get the video, you can view the video anytime at taxor.com and I'll have the, uh, the downloads up probably in a little while um, so you guys can play with it yourself a little bit. And that's T3HH4XX0R.com. You can also find, find all the links and all that on my Twitter. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching.